Welcome back to The Division 2. We recently had title update 9 and it brought a couple of bugs into the game. They are progression blockers. There is one in Kenley College in the Student Union and there is also one in the Coney Island Ballpark which is a part of the Manhunt. And tomorrow, so Friday at 10.30am UK time, they are going to start a maintenance for roughly 90 minutes. So around midday you should be able to log back in and those progression blockers will be officially fixed. But there are still a good few hours until they are fixed so I do have a workaround for both. And jumping in the very first one we're going to look at is the ballpark one and in this footage I actually cleared it first time because I didn't face the progression blocker. But I was doing it on challenging difficulty and when I first logged on to do the manhunt I was affected by the progression blocker. Basically, when you get to this area, on heroic difficulty at least, because challenging it worked first time, so on heroic, you get to this area of the mission and there was only one enemy that spawned. You are told, like, your objective is to secure the area and then move on, but for some reason the enemies didn't spawn in. We tried oxidizing every single wall, we tried scanning with the pulse to see if there was any threats located, and there was nothing, so the progression blocker, the way to beat it, is to actually wipe that area. So if you're playing on Heroic, there is no way to do that, because once you wipe, it resets the whole mission. But challenging and lower difficulty, if you just get yourself killed some way, like chuck grenades at your feet or something, if you wipe that area and respawn, it should spawn all the enemies back in, you'll be able to secure the area properly and move on. So if you are doing Ballpark and the Manhunt, I would lower the difficulty to challenging, although remember this will be fixed tomorrow. And then for the Kenley College one, it is when you do the student union branch and you do the middle investigation, you are told to go to a room where you need to interact with cables and you need to do them in a certain order to progress. The very first cable is blue and the room that you have to access to interact with the panel to do the blue switch there's like an invisible barrier there, you can't get into the room. You can combat roll and get in there, but then it's going to tell you you're outside of the playable area, so you have like, I believe it's around two seconds. And if you can't make it to the panel in that time, it's just going to respawn you at the start of Student Union, so you have to run all the way back through. The best way to beat this progression blocker is to stand outside the room and follow the wall that goes along. And you'll see as you look through one of the doors, you'll see the panel on the wall, if you go to the painting, you can see where I'm standing in the gameplay. If you go to the bottom left corner of the painting, you'll see the prompt pop up to deactivate that panel. If you hold X on that panel, you'll see it all happening as I'm talking about it. It will start building up. You literally just hold down the interact button and it's going to drag you to the door and try pulling you in. And then it will sort of like push you back out of the doorway. But as long as you're holding down the interact button, it will eventually deactivate and then you can move on, and there are no other progression blockers. So if you're looking to do those two missions, there is a way, like a workaround, so that you can get them done, but tomorrow they will be fixed properly. And on that note, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope it helped you guys out. Thank you for watching.